Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Today we're going to be talking about the glide of the talus. Um, the talus is that bone of the foot that's kind of the most superior and it articulates with the lower bones of the leg um, to create dorsiflexion and plantar flexion. That's kind of um, one of the movements it creates. But it also interacts with the heel because it sits on top of the heel and with the other bones of the foot. And so the talus bone as a, as a whole should have some glide and move to it, movement to it. And that movement and glide of the talus um, corresponds with movement and glide in the sacrum. So it's important to think about that when you're um, working with your clients and doing footwork. Um, I think a lot of times we get our people on the, on the machine and they kind of check out because they've done footwork a million times. But if you want to encourage that glide of the talus, you want to think about, especially, well, this would be when you're on the balls of the feet, toes, in parallel neutral position. So here we have the foot connecting into the foot bar at the metatarsal arch, but the heel is hanging free. And so what often happens is um, clients will press out, and when they come in, they don't let the heels release. And so they end up pressing out and in, keeping the foot in essential plantar flexion. And if that's happening, they're not getting that glide of the talus that um, for many people may already be stuck for a variety of reasons. So if you want to encourage that glide, you want to have them start with the heels heavy, not actively reaching under, but they're also not lifted up. So the heels are just kind of in a space hold. And then as you press out, the front of the ankle opens along with the front of the hip. And as you come in, the front of the ankle closes along with the front of the hip. So sometimes I've cued it as the barn door opening as the carriage reaches out, front of the hip and ankle, barn door of the hip and ankle close as you come in. And so just a couple more repetitions so you can see you're keeping your um, eye on my ankles. You can see that there's that return to the crease and an opening of the crease instead of a pressing out and then kind of a lifting of the heels to come in. And so I'm exaggerating here, but the more you start to watch, the more you'll start to see this in your clients. And so if you want to encourage that Taller Glide, they need to have that sense of a space hold on the heel. In um, a class setting, or if you want to give someone in a private more feedback, you could either use your own hands, or we have this long foot stopper here that will go right on the front. And then we all of a sudden have a floor for both the metatarsal arch, ball of the foot, as well as the heel. So here, that floor is giving me something to um, help my talus glide more easily. If you don't have um, the foot stopper, this is just um, a roll down bar from the Cadillac, or, um, and it's a little bit harder to get into, but if you have a, a private, you can place it for your client. But here again, I've just created a floor for the heels. And it's not that I'm pushing into the bar. Um, I'm still, I'm more connected through my forefoot and the metatarsal arch as I reach out and in. And so the bar is just there to help me know that I'm keeping my heel in place on the way out as well as on the way in. And then you would take the bar away, right, and let them feel that um, on their own. The last thing would be just to use your own hands as a tactile cue and make sure that they're not pushing into your hands with their heels as they reach out and not pulling away from your hands as they come in. And that's the way you help to um, encourage the glide of the talus in footwork. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.